Tonight, we're going to be giving you a closer look at this Elephas projector, which is a portable projector. And Jeff is going to be demonstrating uh, the different things you can do and movies as well as gaming with this. Okay, so this is a really nice uh, little projector. It's not as small as some of the really, really new ones, um, but uh, some of the newer ones don't have speakers and stuff on them. Uh, so they're portable, but you can't really play anything on them without having a speaker anyway. This one has a speaker, and we'll show you that one. Uh, but really quick, what it looks like, um, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's not too big. It's not as big as one of these, you know, really nice, uh, huge projectors. But it is nice and small where you can pack it away and bring it somewhere. Um, and, I mean, you can see up against my hand, it's, it's not too big. But this has all the things that you need. Uh, a little screw here so you can lift it up or put it down. Um, here where you can focus it and move the screen up and down and stuff like that. Here you have a VGA connection, uh, HDMI, a USB in and a USB out, uh, which is kind of nice so you can charge stuff. Um, your SD card, um, audio video, which is for this guy right here. So you can plug him in there and go out to audio video cables. Um, and then a headphone jack in okay, case so you just want to listen to the movie yourself. Uh, but that's it right there. So, oh, it has the buttons on top. It comes with a remote, um, but if you lost the remote, or don't want to use the remote, you got all the buttons here on top. So you don't need to worry about that. So let's plug this guy in and show you how it works and what it looks like. We'll show you a movie and we'll show you some gaming on it as well, just in case you wanted to game either way. Um, so when you initially plug it in, lights will come on here and blink for a few seconds. When they go solid again, uh, it means it's ready to turn on. And then uh, for your for your remote, you got your power button, your source button, menu button, your navigations and OK, back button, and this is your volume down, up, and mute. So we'll go hit the power button. As you can see, the lights will start blinking. It'll take a second for it to come on and warm up, and then the lamp will come on. Okay, quickly before we hit the lights, I just want to point out that you're going to get your best picture quality, obviously, if you're using a screen or a blank white wall. Now, our wall here that we'll be demonstrating on is kind of an off-white, gray-brown color, um, and it still works great, uh, but for a clearer picture and stuff like that, so just showing that you could do it really on any color wall and still be able to get a good picture. When you initially turn it on, you're going to get this screen right here. As you can see, you can see it's a little washed out, but that's because we have the lights on. So I wanted to show you, uh, with the lights on and with the lights off, you know how bright this thing really is. So it's it's pretty bright. If you want to do it during the daylight hours, it's probably not um, the best for it. You're going to get a picture. It's just not going to be as vibrant and bright as you would like it to be. So this is with the lights on, so simulating some sunlight coming in. Uh, go ahead and turn the lights off. This is with some lights on. As you see, it's a lot better, a lot more vibrant. And then if we turn the last light off, back here, you can see it's really bright. Great picture. I'm going to turn that light back on a little bit. Um, so again, well, I'm going to show you a, a video, and then I'm going to show you gaming so that you can get, you know, both... Uh, aspects of what you want to look at, okay? Uh, so let's start with the video really quick. Now we have a movie that we're going to show you that's on a jump drive that Jeff is just going to plug in here. Okay, and the way you do it is you navigate. Um, here you can go to USB if you want, or if you're putting in an SD card. Uh, you can also click on movie and it'll go right to the USB, which is kind of nice. Um, and then you can navigate your USB if you've got a ton of files on it. We're going to watch a Mr. Bean. Um, just because Mr. Bean's funny. So this is a, a video. It's, this is a dark show anyway, uh, in the beginning at least. So we'll let it go through its, its start up here. And as you can see, you can hear this, or it's not see, but as you can hear the speaker, okay? And you can get this up pretty loud. And like I said, you got your volume keys on the remote here that you can't really see. If you want to go ahead and look at the picture again, you can 
see. You can turn it up and down. Now you could plug this into a sound system or hook it up with other speakers as well if you want right. additional sound output. So you don't have to rely on this, but it does put out a nice little sound if yep. you're going to be nearby. So as you can see, you got some movement and everything. I mean, um, this is obviously an older show, so it's not in perfect HD quality 1080p, but you get you get the point. But as you can see, you got some moving cars and stuff there, and I mean, it's not any blur or anything like that, which is pretty nice. And obviously, you have your sound as well. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So let's go ahead and pop out of this by just hitting the back key and you can go right back to the, the beginning of the menu. So let's, let's look at some of the features you got on here. Um, once you're back at the main menu, you can go to settings and you can change settings. Um, uh, and if there's a software update, stuff like that, or if it's restore the factory default if you want, or you can change the language if you speak a, a different language. Um, if you hit the menu button on the, on the keypad here, it's hard to see, but menu button's up here. You can get into the uh, the picture mode and all that kind of stuff. If you're going to hang this from the ceiling, which you can totally do, mm -hmm. um, you need to flip it, you know, a different way. So you can flip it upside down. That way you can hang it from the, from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. You can also do it, you know, mirrored if you've, for some reason, I don't know why, you, you got it mirrored. Um, and then back up to a mirror, but regular, and then back to regular. Yeah, so you can do it either way, which is kind of nice. And if you're watching a video and you don't like the way it, 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 the picture is showing, you can change that picture. Right now I have it on medium. There's warm. There's a user rating, so you can change it the way you want it. There's a cool. And, uh, and then back to the medium. I like the medium. That's good. Um, you also have an aspect ratio, uh, which you could do an auto uh, or force it to be 16 by 9. Or you can do a zoom, a zoom, and adjust scan it, um, depending on what you want to do. I leave it on 16.9 because it's kind of nice. And there's also a noise reduction as well. Um, this one I haven't really fooled around with. Uh, I'm guessing if uh, it's noise reduction for the screen. So if you have a lot of uh, uh, irregular irregularities in your picture, you can go ahead and, and put the noise reduction a little bit down. I think it's set at medium. Uh, middle to begin with, that's uh, probably a good setting to keep it at. And most of the time you're not going to have very much noise, so mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about it, unless you're playing some old movies or something like that. Um, and you can also do, you know, music, photo, text, whatever you want to do, change the source on it, and like I said, you've got AV, you got the PC, which is the uh, um, uh, VGA connection, sorry. Um, oh, got out of it. Your HDMI and your SD card and your your USB. So it's easily navigated this menu, um, and it's easily easily done. And like I said, on the top you have these these uh, knobs here. You just kind of go back and forth. The the front one is to focus. So if that looks good to you, you can totally do that. <laughs> Definitely not focused. <laughs> or you can bring it to about that. The then there's a second one on the bottom below that one where you can move the screen, this one right here. Mm -hmm. So this one's kind of nice because you can move the screen, you know, back and forth depending on the angle that you have to make it straight as possible. Nice. So that's about the best we can do. Um, so we, got, we saw a video of this, so let's pop in gaming. Okay. And we'll be using the HDMI for that one. So we'll just pop in an Xbox 360 and see how this works. So once we have that in, we'll change the source. To HDMI. And as you can see, my Xbox is already on um, and plugged in, and you can hear the sound out of that as well. We'll turn it up a little bit. So we'll quick play a game so you can see that uh, it can totally do gaming. We've got a lot. Let's show uh, an easy one here that we can get into. Take 
takes a second for it to load up. But again, we've got the sound, which is really loud, and a bright screen. Um, and as you can see, there's, there's no real lag or anything like that. Uh, everything comes in really bright. Obviously, I showed this game because it had really, really bright colors mm -hmm. in order to see um, what it can look like. So this is a nice thing to have if you want to take some gaming somewhere, you know, far away, not at your house, or even if you wanted to play it on something that's a little bit bigger than your TV, this could totally do it. You got your sounds and everything, um, the video is nice and crisp and clear, and if it's not, you can totally change it if you wanted to. But as you can see, there's no blurring. Which is nice. Is sometimes my camera get... blurred there a little bit. That wasn't the screen, that was my camera. <laughs> <laughs> but, as you see the ball going, there's no blur behind the ball. So, all in all, this is a really nice projector. Um, you can do almost anything that you want to do with it, even charge a phone with it if you want it. It's got an output. Uh, it's got all the outputs that you need. It doesn't have wireless. That's probably the only thing it just doesn't have is wireless. Uh, but, you know, there's easy ways to get around that nowadays with little dongles you can buy that are really cheap. You can plug in USB and then all of a sudden you've got wireless. Um, so, it's a really nice projector. It's light. It's small. It's got a speaker to it. It's got bright picture that, you know, you can change if you don't even like that. So, it's got everything you need. Um, and, uh, it's a great projector in my mind. Okay, so, um, so as you can see, there's things that you can do that are definitely TV replacement. If you had a movie room that you had, you know, if you're using blackout curtains, you could use this day and night, no problem, uh, that you could set up and leave in there. But it's also very small and able to be moved around. So this is a projector that you can also take outside and either cast onto a screen or cast onto the side of your house if you've got a good color there that you want to be using it at night. Um, Jeff actually took this one outside and put it in a tent at night and then put up like a little screen on the tent and was able to, when we had a little camp out outside and he was able to um, project a movie from inside the tent. So it's really cool, all the different things you can do with this. It's definitely portable enough for you to take with you on the go and have fun. Yep. So there you have it, the Elephus projector.